What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Daily Fortnite. My name is Blaze, and today we are taking on a zero build solo game and talking about uh, a movie that I just saw called Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. So I'll give you kind of uh, what I thought about the movie, and I'll try to avoid some spoilers uh, during uh, today's episode as well. But if you have any thoughts or comments about Spider Verse, about Across the Spider Verse, put them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. If, if you're going to put spoilers in there, that's fine. Just make sure that you tag it spoilers so people can avoid it if they have not seen the movie. Um, I'll respond to it. I'll talk about it. It's, you know, comic books and, and MCU and even like Spider-Man movies or, you know, comic book movies are something I really enjoy. So um, I'm super hyped to talk to you guys about it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to... Uh, watch the video all the way to the end. That's the best way to support the channel and support uh, and to get this video out to as many people as possible. So make sure you guys do that. And uh, yeah, use code Blaze in the item shop also. That's the, another great way to support me. Uh, today we got the Spider Gwen skin because uh, Spider Gwen was in Across the Spider Verse. That's probably a spoiler. <laughs> no, she was in the trailer. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think there are. Um, some great things to talk about with Across the Spider-Verse. Um, first of all, I gotta, I gotta fix my sensitivities. I keep forgetting to do this. And, uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't know why. I just, I keep forgetting to do it and it sucks. So, control, sensitivity. Yeah, we'll try this. I don't know. But it, it just feel like every time I was playing this game, it was really tough to aim. Uh, my sticks were just going all over the place. And uh, that didn't happen in the last season. So maybe just this, this one adjustment will help. But yeah, that's awful. So uh, anyway, Across the Spider-Verse came out probably a couple weeks ago. And I was kind of avoiding seeing it because I... I not that I didn't want to see it. It's just mainly that I didn't... It wasn't one of those movies that I needed to go see day one. Um, it was a, a cool idea, a cool concept, a awesome visual art style and everything like that. Um, uh, so I was, I was happy to have seen Into the Spider-Verse and I'm glad they made a sequel, but it wasn't something I was like, Ooh, I need to see that day one. Um, I heard a lot of reviews for it and I was like, you know what? People are saying it's good. Let me go see it. So I went to go see it. And I was not disappointed at all. That that movie was actually... All the hype is real. Everything people were saying about it... 100% justified. Like, that movie was really good. There's a couple things that... I mean, I, guess, I suppose I could talk about and, and say that... Oh, well, this... Uh, this could have been better. That could have been better. And that's pretty much true with every movie. But I think overall, man... Like, they just did a really good job... Like, putting that movie together. Um... You know what's funny is I played a game before this and my uh, video stopped recording because I didn't have enough space on my hard drive. And I couldn't find a single shotgun the entire game. Like, even the people I killed, no shotguns. Here we are. One of the first weapons I pick up is a shotgun. I swear, I swear they they make you... Um, they put you at disadvantages when they want you to lose. I swear that's a thing. Um, what am I supposed to do here? But yeah, so Spider Verse, awesome movie. I, I just I loved I loved watching it. I think the the visuals were amazing. Um, there was a couple moments where I thought maybe the visuals weren't that great, but the story uh, definitely made up for it. The story, like in really the acting, was what really made what was re what really made everything like worth it. Um, the acting was awesome. Like you really, you really felt what these characters were feeling. Um, so yeah, I have to say, man, like just such a good movie. And then like one of my only like real nitpicks about it was that some of the music that they chose, I felt like the music was good, but I felt like they could have had more um, recognizable music, like. Uh, modern music or whatever you want to call it um, and I think that would have helped the soundtrack and 
I don't think every movie has to be Guardians of the Galaxy, but this movie really lends itself visually to having its own, like, really good soundtrack. And I think that was um, just one thing I would have done differently, but I don't know if it'd be better or worse. We'll see. But yeah, overall, man, that movie was so good. If you haven't seen it yet, you definitely have to go see it. Um, it was just really good and a really strong continuation of Into the Spider-Verse. They explained some things that happened in Into the Spider-Verse and shed some light on Miles as a character, which is just awesome. Just awesome. Where'd he go? I hate that he's just gone now. How? How are you hitting me? Dude, I, sh I pulled that trigger. No way. I pulled that trigger, bro. Come on. Oh my god. I'm having a really hard time with Fortnite lately, too. I, I, the game is okay. Like the game is okay. It's fun, but I'm, I'm really struggling to enjoy it right now. And I don't know if it's just me or if it's just the matchmaking or what's going on. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe I'm having a hard time. Like. with like trying to be good at the game and then just being utterly demolished like not just like oh i lost that that matchup or i lost that round or whatever no like being utterly embarrassingly demolished that's that's the kind of stuff i run into lately and i don't really know um if it's me or the game it's probably the game but at the same time it's it's been hard to enjoy. Like, let me also let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. Is Fortnite hard to enjoy right now, or is it just me? Are you guys having a hard time, like, having fun with it? And to be fair, I did, like, I jumped super deep into Fortnite a little while ago. I was playing with some friends. I was having fun, you know, and, you know, I wanted to be good enough to, to like, you know, to be able to hold my own when I play with my friends. And... So I play on my own, and I, I play with my friends a few times a week or a month or whatever. And then, you know, we stopped playing, and I had nobody to play with for a while. So it felt kind of like I just kind of jumped into it, and I found some new friends that played it, but then they kind of, you know, scurried away from it too. Um, maybe it was this, this chapter so far, maybe it's just not as fun. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that I felt like has pushed people away from the game and I just kind of stuck with it. Now, I wouldn't say I was forcing myself because I was still having fun, but now I'm like, right now I'm like, uh, I guess I'll just play it and I guess I'll just try to troll, but there's not even any weapons to troll people with. So it's like, what do you do? You know, I can try to you know, throw my raptor at someone. I mean, uh, I don't know. What do you do, you know? Um, I'm just going to go here. <laughs> we, we're probably going to die. And if I come out of this alive, this will be the longest video on the channel. And I'm not likely to come out of this alive because for some reason I keep running into people that are just so thirsty and so sweaty like they haven't eaten in weeks 
And there's nobody here. All right. Where are people actually landing? Is it always the jungle places? Because that's annoying. This will lure somebody out, probably. Nope. No one cares. <laughs> yeah, the new areas, like, that's the, the, the thing, too, is, like, I think when you introduce new areas and you don't change the old areas, people don't go to the old areas <laughs> ever. Like, they, they just hang out in the new areas exclusively. So it's just... I'm just going to capture this area and get out of here. Go to Bastion. Someone is over there. He must have been scared. Bastion it is. I didn't even see what's over here as far as the loot. Might be something cool. Oh, this weapon's actually pretty sick. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. Leave my wolf alone, boys. Oh, there's one for three wildlife eliminations in a match? I didn't know that. My word, bro. I guess we'll take those. Sure. I'm going to win this one. This sucks. Why can't I just win the first one? Okay, Bastion it is. Let's go over there and... The sad thing is that person almost killed me. Mm -hmm. Is there another one up there? I think there's maybe bonus experience for killing five. Nope, I'm wrong. Nobody else gets a wolf now. Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen. And you know, one thing I forgot to mention is like with with Spider Verse, like the movie took itself seriously, which I love because the MCU has not been doing that lately, and it's been very annoying. Uh, how do I get up there? I can't. Do this. Get- Oh my- Why can't you grab- Oh my god, bro. Screw it, guys. Got him.
Whoa, hey. Oh, well, I didn't see you. I actually have no idea where he is. Ah, oh, there he is. There's two people. Frick. Okay, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll just say this. like, Spider-Verse took itself seriously, which the MCU has not been doing lately. And I think Phase 4 was a good opportunity for the MCU to do that and start taking itself more seriously and start doing darker stories or more serious stories or stories with more weight. And instead, they do stories that are just... They have no weight to them because we're just like laughing everything off like oh there's a super superhuman villain trying to take over the universe haha <laughs> so what i have powers too let's fight him like there needs to be some weight to it and spider-verse did a very good job of of adding weight uh and seriousness to the situation this is a this is a big deal um so i'm hoping that the mcu gets it together and you know does something uh like that like not everything has to be a joke but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.